Hello, music students. Uh, continuing our summer series of just making sure you're keeping up to date. Probably the biggest news, and most of you have probably heard it, we're beginning August 17th now, which is two weeks earlier than we anticipated. Um, things are looking good, and we're excited about the fall. Um, there will probably need to be some ways we adapt to private lessons and ensembles just to make sure everyone's safe, and we'll keep you updated about that. We're still doing our research uh, to decide what is best for you as far as your health, the instructors for their health, but also the most effective way to make sure that you can be learning what you need to as part of your degree program as you prepare to go out into different professions that you have chosen. So we'll keep you updated on that, but we will be face-to-face. -face. You will have all the experiences you're used to. Again, they're just some of them might be a little bit different as we adapt and do what is best. Hey, I want to make sure some of you probably have already met him. This is Dr. Vernon Whaley, uh, the Vice President for Program Development for the School of Music Worship Arts. He asked if he could bring a, a brief greeting to you, and he has a scripture to share. Um, see you soon. Well, hello, returning and new music students. So glad that you're here. Glad to know that you're coming to Rebecca this fall. My name is Dr. Vernon Whaley, and I'm the Associate Vice President of Program Development. And it's been my joy to be able to help the school develop new degree programs and new opportunities for our students to learn and to enjoy seeing what God is going to do in their lives together. Lots and lots of things are planned for this fall. We're going to have chapel services together just for the School of Music. We're going to have Bible studies together, times of um, a reflection, I guess you could say, times where we can learn from God's Word together, times where we can just talk about what God's called us to do new graduate programs that we're talking about, and I'm sure we're going to come and ask you your opinion about it. So it's kind of neat to see that God is bringing all things together for his good. I like the passage in Romans 8. It says, all things work together for good to them that are called according to his purposes. So one of the things we're going to talk about is aligning our purposes or God's purpose for our life with our plan that he has for our lives. And that is a neat way to say that it's the plan that God has for our lives not our plan for God to have for our lives. It's kind of cool how that all works. And so we can line up together his purposes with his plan for our lives. It's amazing what he can do through us and for us. But let me just say this at the end. Psalm 117 is a wonderful psalm of praise. But I'm going to kind of make it special for us musicians. And it says this. Praise the Lord, all you musicians. Sing and play great music to our Lord. For his merciful kindness is great. And his truth endures forever. Praise the Lord. Do you know how long forever is? Forever is a long, long time. It's forever. And his truth endures forever. I look forward to getting to know you. I look forward to spending time with you. I look forward to seeing what God is going to do in you and through you and for his kingdom. May I pray for you. Heavenly Father, I pray for the music students that are returning. I pray for the new music students that are coming. And I ask in Jesus' name that you will fill them with your spirit and that they will sense a real purpose in their heart to follow you hard and to love you and do what they do because they really want to obey you. Give them a real sense of focus as they decide what to do in these next several weeks. We look forward to having them come in the fall. Lord, bring them here safely. And we pray this in the powerful and wonderful name of Jesus. Amen.